to look so at. So let's that. talk about the NDI capabilities of the Pearl. The, the, the Pearl has four inputs under HD, and all four of those can be NDI, or you can mix and match NDI and SDR HDMI, correct? Exactly, yeah. So if we're dealing with only direct video inputs, HDMI and SDI, we could do as many as six. Uh, NDI does take up a little bit more processing power than say a direct captured connection. Um, so there we usually recommend up to four NDI inputs, but yes, we could be mixing, matching those with some direct inputs. So one of the things I really wanted to focus on this show wasn't the specs of the Pearl 2. People can get the specs and the pricing on our website of the Pearl 2, the Pearl 2 Rack, and the Pearl 2 Twin. What I really wanted to talk about was NDI and some of those NDI workflows. So the first workflow we want to talk about is you can use multiple Pearl 2s and they can all be linked together via NDI. Talk to that, you know, we've got colleges and universities or maybe some churches that have a main room and an overflow room or government agencies where maybe they have a boardroom but they also have a, another room where maybe they do their uh, public meetings in, their non-public meetings in and they want to be able to talk, you know. So go over how people are using multiple Pearl 2s linked via NDI within the same network. Yeah, well, exactly like you said, sometimes, uh, you know, it's, it's multiple Pearl 2s or sometimes it's bridging ecosystems. Um, when we put NDI into the Pearl 2, we wanted to make sure we packed as much of NDI as we could into it. So from an input perspective, we can bring in full NDI or NDI HX inputs and Pearl 2 can also output full NDI. So this means that one Pearl 2 could feed full NDI to another Pearl 2 or another workflow um, into maybe an NDI monitor or something in a breakout room. So I could have two or three PTZ cameras in a room and then like, uh, like I have here a laptop coming in via you know the network or across NDI into a Pearl and I could have let's say three rooms within my facility who have that and any room not only has access to the cameras in the room, but all the other cameras or the program output of that Pearl too, correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so that's a level of scaling that gets really fun and where it really becomes cool is, I know we've got some folks who have TriCasters as the heart of their whole solution. And they wanna have like another room that's like a mini studio or an offshoot room or my example like a boardroom. Maybe I'm a school system and I have a TriCaster set up in my TV production studio. I could put a Pearl 2 on the network, let's say in the boardroom, and I could have a couple of PTZ cameras in the boardroom now feeding into the TriCaster through the Pearl. And that opens up a whole level of productivity and feature sets that to me is really fantastic. Thank you for watching this highlight from the Video Guys Live webinar. If you like this video or you want to learn more, check out the full webinar in our description or head on over to videoguys.com for more information.